what's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you're right doing well and staying safe definitely i wish for that well in today's video we've got something very interesting and intriguing to talk about you have to recall j israel j israel who actually denied the fact that he doesn't want to follow christ anymore that is he has stepped finally out of christianity well breaking news today has confirmed the fact that j israel had been through a terrible accident we will be talking about the whole scene but guys if you love this man if a toy has inspired you in one way or the other do all to pray for him as things get tougher in his life well if you are new to this channel if a toy are passing by for the first time here subscribe and turn on the post bell notification icon so that you can become part of this beautiful family to my genuine subscribers also thank you for your love and support i really much appreciate it well guys let's get right into it hello hello guys and welcome back to the video j israel whose real name is jacob dube was involved in a fatal car accident late yesterday it is not clear how many people were in the car when the the scene happened the man of god alleged the fact that there was a foul play which involved in the accident the man of god is known for being much into flashing media cars showing off his possession in his lifestyle he first posted this car on april 21st that is 2021 after he just bought it his followers soon flooded comment section on instagram with words of encouragement people have been doubtful about the accident scene that really happened to j israel and they are taking it for misfortunes in order to say they are not giving him much sympathy. He had previously faked an arrest claiming that the prophet Makandiwa orchestrated the arrest after he tried to set him up with one of his servants. He also claimed his studio was robbed and that he lost all of his equipment which resulted in his followers donating about 100,000 US dollars. The man of God has done things to try and stay relevant in the media and possibly get himself more followers. He claims to have been the head of one of the largest churches in the country. Why the truth is that he was sent to the church just to be an assistant pastor but decided to leave the church after he couldn't get privileges of being the head pastor. He later resorted to tarnishing the names of his fellow pastors and exposing a lot of dirty things, deeds, and so many things that never expected from him. Well, in recent news about him, he actually said he's done and dusted with what concerns Jesus Christ. Well, after this accident, I got a lot of thoughts on the comment section on his flooded page where he, people were actually saying, after all, he has done Jesus Christ. That is why everything now is happening to him. But just recall that this man is also a man who loves a lot of flashy things. And of course, I will always tell him, guys, pray for the ones you love. Of course, he's also a pastor that many people also love. Thanks for watching until the end.